Hello and welcome back LFB Focus Otters. My name is Michael Leando and today I want to go ahead and show you how you can get this new VS Code theme called Moonlight set up and installed on your computer. Now this comes with a beautiful bubblegum code palette is what they call it. And then you can also additionally bring in custom CSS to have a highlight effect. That way it really helps to make your CSS and your functions, class names, etc., all pop. So if that sounds good to you, I'm going to show you just how to get that set up. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and kick this off by first just talking about the project that we're in. This is just scaffolded with Create React App, and I'm just doing that so that we have some code up on the screen to showcase what we're going to be highlighting and changing around today. From here, I'm going to open up my extensions panel, and a shortcut for doing this is going to be Command Shift X. That'll go ahead and pop that up for us. And I'm going to type in Moonlight. Now there is a version one and a version two. As you can see, there's a couple of other themes in here with the name Moonlight, but you're gonna be looking for the one right here, this Moonlight VS Code theme with bubblegum colors. I'm gonna install that. And you can see that actually gets us pretty far in how our application looks. Now, as I mentioned before, there is a couple of different versions of this Moonlight theme. And I'm specifically partial to the Moonlight uh, italic theme, this Moonlight 2 italic. So I'm going to select that one. And if we look back into the code, it's already looking a lot better. But from the theme itself, you can see that there is the option to have some highlighted code along the way. And I really love this effect. So to enable that, if we scroll down here, it's going to give us a CSS that we can work with right here. So I'm actually going to copy that. And we want to go ahead and use a custom CSS extension to bring this code in. And that extension is called custom CSS. So back in the extensions pane, I'm going to type in custom. And it's this one right up top, custom CSS and JS loader. So I'm going to select this one. And I have it turned off right now, but I can go ahead and install it. And then you'll be caught up right back up with me. And from here, we're good to go. We just have to copy and paste that CSS somewhere. And that somewhere is going to be in our terminal. Now we're thinking that's weird, right? Go ahead and put it in our terminal. But that's really just because we want to reference a file with this custom CSS and JS loader extension. So what I'll do is I'll say we want to echo. Well, first, let's see where we are in terms of our directory here. So I'll bump this up. And I'm currently somewhere on my desktop. And that's okay for now. But for you, you probably want to put this somewhere like in your documents folder or somewhere secure that you're not going to accidentally delete later on. So we'll say echo. And then I'll paste in that CSS. You know, I have the quotes around here. And I'll say we're going to echo all of this out into, so the greater than sign, a certain file. And that'll be tilde. And for me, I really like to have miscellaneous files inside of my documents folder. So inside of this documents folder, I will say something meaningful like moonlight.css, just like that. I'll hit enter here. And I just went ahead and created that file and inserted that CSS into there. Now, if you're wondering how I got to the terminal on a Mac, I went ahead and pressed control and then it's the back tick. So top left corner next to the tilde and that'll toggle your terminal. Now we have our CSS, we have the extension installed, and we have a way to tie the two together via this custom CSS loader extension. But how do we actually reference it? Well, if we scroll down from here, I'm going to bump down the size just a little bit and get rid of this pane. It'll give us the actual extension that we need to be using or, or the actual file string. So if you're on a Windows, this is going to be what you reference. Note that you probably want to change this accordingly, depending on where you save the file. But I'm on a Mac, and I'm going to be using this version instead. Now, the next thing to do is to go ahead and enable this. And in order to do that, we have to hop into our settings. So you can go File Preferences Settings, or you can press Command P, or I believe it's Windows P if you're on a PC. And then we'll do the greater than sign, and we'll type in uh, Settings. This is going to give us a couple different options. I'm going to select this first one, Open Settings UI. 
So from here, we'll go ahead and click on this extensions dropdown. And then you should see a custom CSS slash JS custom loader. Now in the event that you don't see this here and you just see CSS, all you have to do is do command P and then we'll do the greater than sign. And we're going to say enable custom CSS and JS. I'm going to go ahead and click that and you'll see that it asks for VS code to restart. Once you do that, you'll get the option to enable custom CSS and JS. So over in the extensions, I can go ahead and bring that down, head over to custom, and it's this very first option that says edit in settings.json. Now I went ahead and copied that file path from before. And in case you missed it, it looks just like this. Now, of course, we want to make it a string. So I'll do so like that. And then for my username, there we go. I had it in my documents folder. And instead of custom.css, I named mine Moonlight. All right, so with that file string set and making sure that the path is correct, now we're actually in a point where we want to enable custom CSS. Now you might've already done this before, had that option not shown itself previously. But in case you did, you still wanna go ahead and do it this time. So enabling the custom CSS will bring up this pop-up. It's like, hey, your application is gonna look a little weird just because of the custom CSS. Do you wanna do that? And I'm like, yeah, go ahead and restart VS Code, do your thing, and there you go. Now we have a beautifully highlighted application. If I go over to my app.js, I get a highlight on my app, but I think it's really cool when you open up CSS because you get this nice moonlight background. All right, and there you go. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like and a subscribe. And if you wanna see more content like this, go ahead and let me know down in the comments down below. As always, thanks again. I'll catch you all next time. Peace out, Focus Otters.